Turns out Tony's father was also a cheater and a b And Antonio got his bad habits from his daddy. She begs for Renee to leave Antonio, but Renee says she can't leave him because he threatened her. But he was just at his funeral. He d now Wait, what are you gonna what? do? Slap you from the grave? Wait, what? You can't leave the n is dead. What do you mean you can't leave him? Blueface and Sean. <laughs> All right, man. Look, the generosity has dropped after a month. This is the weirdness of Tubi movies. Now I've ever, I've never really officially watched a Tubi movie, but I've, I've heard some some things. So let's let's check out this video. It's about sixty minutes long. Let's get it. Go. <laughs> I know the not. I'm just a kid. Damn. Off the rip? Nah. There's no way. There's no way. Movies. A magnificent visual art form that can show the riveting story of one's life or journey. Nope, they can nope. display the harshness of someone's. She blicked everybody, but those graphics were so terrible. Struggles and the beauty of someone's rise, conveying emotions that whenever I see them on screen, I can't help but feel the same way the character is feeling on screen. Not only that, they can introduce you to a new world that is entirely detached from our reality that I'm almost always engulfed in. I think that's a beautiful wonder about movies. They can spark out emotions for me that I just can't get from any other media. Show. But what kind of deep emotions does movies like this spark for me? <laughs> hey, no way, what kind of deep emotions does movies like this Bro, spark for me? What the fuck is it looked like they just dragged a toy across the nah for me. Nah nasty work. Of course, just like with everything else in existence, there's a not so good counterpart to movies. And these counterparts could be found way easier nowadays since most blockbusters nowadays aren't really that good anymore. Like y'all making so many superhero movies nowadays, when are you guys gonna make the Black Bomber superhero movie? I need that. I'll see that in theaters three times in a row. Y'all show my boy no respect, and yet y'all gonna produce the 18th billion Fast and Furious movie. A fake ass fast and furious is this that is not i show my boy no respect and yet y'all gonna produce that the fuck is that fin feasel what's the opposite of family lonely or something what the fuck is this 18th billion fast and furious movie fucking fake bro what the fuck is this be ain't nobody wanna see that and streaming services be producing half the slop we be consuming nowadays For you sure. can find many of them on netflix there's I a ton of banger movies on there but after seeing it on tiktok from time and time again it seems like there's a streaming service that is a gold mine for not only b movies but low quality looking 50 dollar budget filmed on a motorola looking ass movies Totally. And when finding crazy. this out, my curiosity got the best of me. I, I needed to see this. And when I checked it out, I was not only amazed, but I was perplexed <laughs> on how amazing these movies are. Some of these movies will make Martin Scorsese reconsider Scorsese. what true cinema is. And this bitch is sitting on my living room couch. You the only one with a key. What are you talking about? Tiffany. Tiffany the f Dog. Boy, I don't even know what you're talking about. I haven't been there in a week. Where the fuck did she go? To what the actual fuck is this nigga? Is that supposed to be a doll? Chat, look at that's supposed to be a doll, chat. Chat, he said, nigga said Tiffany the doll is sitting on my couch. Nigga, that is a whole person. Y'all ain't even try to find a regular doll. What the fuck is that? You the only one with a key. What are you talking about? Tiffany. Tiffany the f doll. Boy. Bro, ain't no fucking way. Oh, I don't even know what you're talking about. I haven't been there in a week. Where the fuck did she go? Tubi, if you ain't know, is a streaming service like the others, but unlike them, out of their original catalog, they have great works of arts like Bad Cat, Mary Finger Kill, and Shark Side of the... Mary Finger Kill, okay, dude. Moon, you know, absolute classics that everybody knows. But outside the originals they produce, Tubi also has a big catalog of B movies. Not the jazz one, but low budget and indie movies. It has a whole bunch of films made by everyday people like you and me. Since anybody can make a movie nowadays, if you got a camera, you can make a movie. The thing is, a lot of these films don't look the best, or sound the best, or even make sense half the time, but that's okay. 
These people made and created a movie that they're so proud of that they released it to the public for all of us to watch. There's no better accomplishment than that. I'll be talking about one movie today, and that movie is titled Love Beat the Hell Out of Me. And today, I'll what? be going through and over these movies. Just so you guys can see a glimpse of what I saw oh, of what Tubi has to offer. Oh, by the way, this ain't no. sponsored by Tubi. They ain't paying me jack to do this. But if a Tubi exec <laughs> is watching this, my pockets are open. Just like how my pockets are open for today's sponsor, War Thunder. War Thunder hey, is- Hey, W sponsor. Let me, uh, you know what I'm saying? Get your bread, gang, for show. So proud of you. Keep getting those sponsors, gang. You know what I'm saying? Never would have it any other way. So proud of you. Yeah. Ow! All right, let's get this started. I got to go to my BBL appointment later. So the movie I'll be talking about is Love Beat the Hell Out of Me. Now, I'm not sure this movie is trying to be a sequel or a remake to the 2000 movie with the same title starring the original War Machine, but honestly, my research ended there. I ain't watching both movies. <laughs> the movie starts off with the beautifully done studio logos and title card with some it's MF Doom that. song oh, playing in the background. I don't know. I've only heard them from TikTok. And right at the start, we get introduced to our two main characters doing it. Okay. Why start off a movie with a sex scene? Why? You That's instantly make work. it awkward when I'm with my family. Anyways, our two characters, Renee and Antonio, are happily married. They got a kid and they're doing fine, I guess. Then we okay. cut to Antonio's job at his office and he already acting like a demon. Oh, hell no. Mm -hmm. Get the his boss then oh, enters and introduces no. him to the new hire, Rhonda. And you can already see mad romantical tension between them. You can cut it with a sword or tortilla. It, it was that obvious. Next scene, we are at a school with Renee dropping off her son to and in his classroom. There she meets her son's new teacher and the dude is buff like a Samoan. By the end of their combo, you can see even more romantical tension in the air. We've I'm seen so romantic. much lustful tension with these two and it was never with each other. She Wait. Oh, so okay, so okay, that's the that's the shorty that was. Damn, maybe I'm both ain't shit for real. You trying to cheat with the nigga teacher? He trying to cheat with the second guy. Then leaves because she ain't trying to act up, you know. Next, we're at a studio hearing one of the best songs ever recorded. Sitting in my crib trying to get blow. Niggas need to understand my shit just flows like the breeze off the fucking lake. I got this dope shit uncut, make your ass lose. So this dude. Trying to get blown. Niggas need to understand my shit just flows. Okay. Hey, real quick. We got new merch, man. There's the uh, Share Smile drop that had just released a couple of days ago. We got it in white, black, and tan. I bought back some of the old merch that was selling really good because you guys requested it. So uh, make sure you go check out the store. It will be linked in the description. And enjoy the rest of the video, man. Peace. So this dude is Renee's brother, and apparently this is Antonio's studio. And they're all a part of this music group. I forgot what it's called. And Antonio invited some fine singers to help him record a song. Renee's brother and Antonio start hollering at these girls, and all of a sudden, this dude becomes a comedian. No, he didn't call himself T. Slick. Uh, for real? This candy man looking goofy. <laughs> yeah, say my name three times. I'm gonna fucking watch what happens. Oh, yeah, shit. how dare Damn. you sabotage me in front of these ladies when your sister is literally my wife? But they kiss and make up at the Nah, that is crazy work. A cheating on your wife in front of her brother and he dap you up in there is crazy. That nigga's bold and this nigga's an op. That's real oppy. The end, so it's all cool. Then we teleport to this long salon scene where Renee works out, and all the girls there are roasting each other, talking about their kids and that new teacher Renee met today. Her salon buddies egg her, trying to get the deets out of her, but she shows off her wedding ring, announcing her loyalty. Damn, hold on, she got a little, she got a little something back there though. Hey, she dragging the motherfucking wagon. Oh, hold on. T to Antonio, how sweet. I not gonna lie, first third of this movie is kinda slow. There's a lot of small talk like Antonio telling Ray about the new hire and one of Ray's grown ass friends trying to flirt with a kid in the chicken shop. Uh huh. Hey, you can go home with me, boo. It ain't until oh, we back. Oh, hell no, that nigga look like he like 16. 
back at Antonio's office and Rhonda call him for some assistance. Antonio heads over to her office and then his boss is looking for him because he just got nominated for an award for best attorney in the district. The boss and secretary go to Rhonda's office to tell Antonio the good news only to walk in on him giving Rhonda back shot. Oh, freaking kidding me? They fired on Oh, hell no. Damn, it was barely five minutes. How y'all get into it that quick? God damn. Spot and Rhonda's laughing like she an anime villain. I don't know what the hell that's about. We then cut to Renee bro showing up to that house and he trying to tell her the bad news about her husband, Antonio. I have no idea how he knows, but like, just, just deal with it. But then he does one of those long build up explanations instead of just saying what the husband did, just say he cheated. Your husband ain't the man you think he is. Oh God, just say it bro. Then Antonio walks in last second, right before an actual explanation, of course. I hate when characters do that in movies, just spit it out, spit it out. Already. Then we cut to Renee visiting Antonio's old job because she just wanted to see her husband being a working and strong man only to find out this man hasn't been working there for two weeks. She obviously mad but then the boss tells her the real reason why he got fired then she gets even more mad. You miss Renee. We then cut to- <laughs> Wait. Wait, wait, oh my god. She was dead ass being nosy too, trying to act like she fixing the fucking painting. Ain't no way. She was listening. Shawty, what you fixing? What you fixing? She's fucking tapping on this shit. Fuck out of here. We then cut to Antonio making music with that singer he met earlier. Then they start fucking. I'm not gonna yeah, sugarcoat it. My guy everything. really said, I already cheated once. I might as well do it again. Then Renee finally confronts him about his cheating, his job, and she is tired of his dishonesty. You need to calm down. Stop telling me to calm down. Oh. This man just starts going Chris Yo, Brown on her crazy. and starts chasing her with the gun. How are you trying to be on her and chase her with a gun? Choke her out because you cheating. Yo, niggas is crazy. This, yo, that's crazy word. Like he John Wick in the most intense chase scene I've ever seen in the movie. Yeah. Uh oh my God. Oh, she falls and he brings oh. her back home and threatens her saying, you better not leave me. I'm gonna go crazy. And he's also a crackhead now, I guess. Next scene, her brother show up and sees her face. Super worried, he asked who- What the fuck is this on her I guess. face? Next scene, her brother show up and sees her face. Nigga. Chat. <laughs> Chat. Nigga, that's strawberry Bro, it's straight dried ketchup. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? Super worried, he asked, who did this? And she's like, Antonio, but we're not together no more, so there's nothing to worry about. But he wasn't having it, and he was gonna deal with it on his own. Why everybody got guns? He said, for the fucking air this nigga out, fuck. Oh, bro waits for Antonio to pull up out of his car to drive by his ass. Hey, Antonio, you been beating on my sister? Yeah, that's my walk. Fuck that's my walk. Damn! And in Antonio's dying breath, he licks his lips and then dies again. Can't Yo, be seen. Ain't no way this nigga licked his lips. Ain't no way this nigga licked his lips, dog. Look. And then Antonio's dying breath. <laughs> he said, "Hold on, hold on, chat, chat." Hey, got your chat stick? No. Okay. Oh. All right. Are yelling cut yet? Yeah, yeah, we'll cut. No, okay, for sure. Like, no, nigga, what the fuck? What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? Nigga. <laughs> he licks his lips and then dies again. <laughs> Can't be seen having chapped lips around the hose. Then we cut to his funeral, which is mad empty. Not even his son showed up. Nobody liked this nigga, I guess. And Renee crying like he ain't just beat her ass five minutes ago. This nigga. 
nigga at the funeral like he ain't catch the body? You at the funeral with your brother that killed him? Like you ain't know your brother was gonna kill him after what he said and literally flashed a gun? What did I do? Renee then goes to see Antonio's mother. When after seeing Renee's scars, she said she always feared this would happen to her. Turns out Tony's father was also a cheater and a beater. And Antonio got his bad habits from his daddy. She begs for Renee to leave Antonio, but Renee says she can't leave him because he threatened her. But he was just at his funeral. He dead now. Wait, what are you gonna what? do? Slap you from the grave? Wait, what? You can't leave? The nigga is dead. What do you mean you can't leave him? Blue face of Deshaun. <laughs> like, that's just ridiculous. Yo. Tony's mom then recommends her to at least leave the house while he's still there. And then she proceeds. He's dead. I, yo, what the fuck are you talking about? Needs to think about her son's teacher that she spoke to for like 30 seconds. Uh, I didn't know you guys had that kind of relationship already. Anyways, we go to the next scene at night to the singer girl appearing to be catcalled by some random homeless dude. Only for him to be Antonio? I thought this man was dead. What the hell he threw him back? First time I saw this scene, I thought it was a flashback or something. But nah, he, he's alive. He's alive live. So what was that funeral about? Some Mr. Robot dream sequence or some shit? How is he not dead? I mean, from when I found out later on in the movie, he ain't from Wizards of Waverly Place. So how he came back to life? And the movie never explains this. He, he's just alive again and homeless now. My personal- What's the actual fuck? theory is that he has the same powers of Kenny from South Park, but that's just me. Anyways, he confronts the girl about her not answering his calls, but she ain't having it with his drug problems because he's a junkie now, I, I guess. He gets mad and is about to smack her, but then she pulls out the blinky on him. Why we everybody go. got a gun? <laughs> he slowly backs away from her and then notices someone he knows in the alleyway. I know you. I know you. It's his dealer, and he begging for more compound V, but he got no money. So he offers to do whatever she wants. Oh, they walk away together, and we transition to a montage of Renee becoming a stronger woman who don't need no man. We then cut Not to her packing her bags woman, to move see? out, and while packing, Not Renee... Noise and stop with that YouTube stuff. Go to bed, damn it. If you don't, it's, nigga, it's my house. I don't give a goddamn. Hey, quit all that goddamn screen line. Hey. Hey! You the one in here yelling. Then you don't even say nothing. I heard you. Oh my god, I got the gun! God damn it. I'm gonna kill him. You gonna die tonight. Then you gonna wake up dead. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Joke, joke, jokey, joke, joke, joke. Friend frantically comes in the room. Renee, good phone call. We need to go get Antonio now. Get him for what? Like I said, we need to go get Antonio. And she does one of those things where she don't explain why right. she has to just, do it. She just says, there's it. no time. Like, nah, you got to explain no, why I need to say my abusive husband because I'll never be in the mood for that. Renee eventually agrees to go. And as they look around for him, they pull up to a trap house. And then her friend like, nah, let's just get out of here and call the police. Oh this God. place ain't safe. But Renee's like, nah, he my husband. Nigga, you leaving him. Both of them go inside and Renee's dead. friend starts tripping for good reason. Saying, again, this ain't <laughs> safe because there's literal junkies walking around. And why are we doing all this for him? Him. Then Renee says, Look, I just need to know. I just need to know what he's been up to. No, no what? No. He had a crack house. That's an obvious sign to know what he's been up to. Oh, Renee's God. friend is spitting wisdom while Renee herself is spitting what? dumb ass. -er. Anyways, they find Tony and he acting like his usual self ever since he died. Antonio! Damn. Who the fuck in my crib? He start begging her to come back and Renee just staring at him for a little bit and she just says, let's get out of here. She's seen everything she needed to see. Then why the hell y'all here? Oh what the God. hell you expected to look like? To him to be the kingpin of the house? They leave and then he chases them and then we transition to a murder scene and it turns out Tony's drug dealer died of an overdose and they suspect her boyfriend of doing it. Now, they haven't even identified her body yet, so I don't know how they know she, ha she has a boyfriend. One of the cops walks outside because he keeps complaining about the stink of the body. Damn! He then sees a group of young African-American men hanging out, minding their own business, and then the woman cop sees this and is like, This man, I bet you 
million dollars, I've seen some of the drugs to talk. Yeah. You know what? Hold it right there. What the fuck? Y'all just saw. Yo, they just. <laughs> Yo, ain't no way. They just standing there. All these random dudes and automatically assume they did it. You didn't even question them or yourself. You just went after them without no evidence. Like, damn. This movie's more realistic than I thought. But this one knows karate, so movie logic, I, I guess he did it. And that's the last we hear or see anything related to that, so what was the point? We cut to Antonio walking to Renee's house. He got bags on his feet. What the fuck? I was begging some more, but Renee is really done done with him this time. He tries to beat her ass again, but she's a strong, independent woman oh now. So the self-defense training came in clutch. Bing, bing. She then tells him she going to church, so if he coming, he can come. He says, yes, I'll go anywhere with you, and enters the car with her. With this nigga just tried to beat your ass, and you offered to take this nigga to what the fuck is this? They get offered, they get offered to take him to church. What the fuck are you talk? What are you doing? Which I don't know how she comfortable with this man being in her car after he literally just tried to knock her out like he was Tyson. They enter the car together and that's it. That's the end of the movie. That that's it. So she never even yep. talked to the teacher. She never got with the teacher. What? But it has one of those, though I'm hopeful, yes oh, I am, hopeful nah. as today, and this, so, that automatically makes this one of the best <laughs> movies I've ever watched. Now, what are my thoughts on this movie? I thought it was pretty gosh darn entertaining. Sure, it had its mishaps like having a slow first 20 minutes, but overall, I freaking loved it. And I'm never gonna judge the acting of these types of movies, I think that just comes with the 2 <laughs> package, but, but the writing in these movies always takes a turn in a direction that I'll never predict by the time I'm at the end of the movie. Like. Who the hell this guy robbed? Capone was arrested on four counts of armed robbery and illegal possession of a firearm with intent to kill. He caught a body of a nigga that's still, I don't understand. But I love movies like this. They're fun to watch and I bet the people who are making it had fun making it too. Now I'm not gonna fuck around and say this movie's amazing or anything up there with the likes of Citizen Kane and Date Movie. But if you're looking for something stupid, fun, and entertaining to watch, I recommend this. Cause I think this movie encapsulates what Tubi movies are about ridiculous anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know i've been gone for god knows how long but hopefully that won't happen again hopefully but i still 100 percent definitely love all of you guys i love you i love you also thank you war thunder for sponsoring this video remember lights on and not be homeless anyways that's all i wanted to say and in conclusion i love you How do I get jelly beans out of unreachable places? Asking for a friend is crazy. Asking for a friend is crazy. W video, glad your generosity is back. Hopefully he don't take a month to upload another uh banger. But uh yeah, W vid, man. <laughs>